Hello everyone from Katowice and now I'm in one of the most unique uh, districts of uh, not only Katowice, of uh, Poland, it is Kishowiec. Uh, Kishowiec uh, uh, originally was uh, a, a district for miners, uh, but now it is one of uh, gems uh, of uh, Polish uh, uh, industrial architecture. And uh, the conception of uh, this district is uh, really uh, unique. Uh, yes, I um, wanted to uh, come here after Nitishevets, another um, labor uh, settlement in uh, Katowice. Uh, it is an older one here in Nitishevets. It was uh, constructed before uh, Nitishevets, uh, but uh, here it's uh, uh, another conception because uh, uh, when it was built, it was like a uh, uh, city in the uh, wood, city with uh, gardens, uh, uh, and it's a uh, very contrast uh, with the idea that it's uh, um, houses for miners, uh, but uh, architectures, uh, uh, German architectures uh, Emil and Georg Zillmann, uh, who also constructed a project at uh, Nitishevets too, uh, they made a really uh, unique and very interesting plan of uh, this settlement. And this uh, settlement, Dishavets, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, quite wide, uh, so it's a good idea to uh, rent a bike uh, for an uh, hour or so and uh, to ride uh, through this uh, uh, district. Uh, I think it's one of the best way to see it and to see also uh, these uh, green gardens in this settlement. In this Near each of buildings in Dishavets you have small garden and you could uh, plant uh, something here, but uh, not any culture. Uh, for example, if uh, you wanted to plant uh, potatoes, you need to, uh, to have a permission for that. Uh, uh, and uh, in most of cases uh, it wasn't allowed uh, to uh, grow uh, potatoes in your garden. Uh, also, you couldn't um, uh, wash uh, your clothes in your uh, house and dry them. You should uh, go to this uh, uh, washing house uh, and only here uh, were allowed uh, to uh, dry and uh, to clean your clothes. Uh, uh, it was made uh, to uh, save uh, houses from destruction uh, and uh, that's why we can find a lot of uh, uh, buildings in a really good condition right now.
not all parts of uh, dish uh, now in the same conditions, uh, but uh, you should definitely go to uh, street Pshiemna, uh, because this street uh, looks uh, really like it was in the beginning of the uh, 20th century. A lot of uh, old uh, uh, buildings, uh, they are almost the same as it was uh, uh, earlier. And um, architects, when they uh, made uh, and planned uh, this uh, settlement, uh, they tried uh, uh, to um, make it like you are in a village uh, when you come from work uh, uh, to your uh, place uh, to your uh, building uh, it should be uh, different places and uh, uh, if we will walk uh, uh, in Adishovets uh, and uh, watch uh, this uh, buildings uh, uh, there will not uh, be two uh, same buildings in one area. If they will be uh, the same, they will be uh, with a different angle. So you always have a, a different perspective and uh, it uh, makes living here more pleasant. Here in Dishavets uh, is a uh, very interesting part, uh, part that is named uh, American Colony. And uh, after First World War, uh, there were difficulties with uh, owners of uh, mines. Uh, so uh, American companies, uh, they invested uh, uh, their money in uh, uh, mines uh, and they owned 51% uh, of uh, stocks uh, so they changed a little bit administration of uh, mines and also they sent uh, their uh, administration to Poland uh, to Dishovets uh, and for uh, these workers uh, here was built uh, uh, several buildings in American style uh, and uh, now we can find them uh, a little bit uh, aside of uh, an old uh, Dishavets, but uh, this part uh, looks really great uh, in the forest and uh, uh, you should definitely uh, see it too if you will be uh, in Dishavets. Uh, Americans uh, were here until the Second World War and after it uh, mines were uh, nationalized uh, to a property of uh, government. Uh, uh, and uh, it was not the best uh, times for Dishovets too, because in 70s or 80s uh, a lot of uh, old buildings was uh, destroyed uh, and um, only one third of uh, old buildings uh, uh, they are now uh, here. Uh, all other buildings uh, were uh, remade to this uh, uh, Soviet-style blocks. Uh, uh, but uh, at the end, uh, after the 90s, uh, destruction of uh, old Dishovets stopped and now we uh, can find that uh, a lot of old buildings, they are now uh, history uh, buildings uh, and uh, even new uh, districts uh, in Dishovets, uh, uh, they are made in the same architectural style like it was in the beginning of the uh, 20th century. This is a really interesting and unique uh, settlement, a unique district in uh, Poland, I think uh, not only in Poland, so it was really an interesting experience to come here. Uh, yes, of course, uh, if you travel to Katowice, you can uh, go to Nitishovets and Gishovets in one day and uh, uh, it uh, will be okay, it's, uh, it's not so uh, big uh, district. Uh, uh, but um, I definitely like uh, that I came here. Here are a lot of uh, interesting points uh, which uh, can give you 
um, good uh, memories uh, from uh, this trip uh, to Katowice or to Poland. Uh, uh, and that's all for today. So subscribe to this channel and see you in new videos. Bye.